Sorry about the noise. <laughs> Surrender is when you wave the white flag. Surrender is when you, or rather when your idea of yourself that you've been so tightly clinging to, waves the white flag in surrender and it says, I give up. This is why surrender is such a powerful, mystical breakthrough experience. Surrender is an ego death. Surrender is when we have such a strong experience of what it actually feels like to let go of this construct that you think is you and that is actually creating your problems, creating your suffering. So surrender, in my experience, it usually doesn't really come about without a good heavy dose of suffering. It's usually preceded by a dark night of the soul in any way, shape or form. This is why it's so hard for us to surrender in daily life. It's so hard to surrender for us in the middle of an argument or a conflict with a loved one. It's so hard to surrender when we're simply feeling down a little bit. And this is why it's in a way easier to surrender when you're really, really, really suffering. And the reason why at times we go into such deep amounts of pain and suffering is because life wants you to, life wants to push you towards this breaking point of surrender. Life isn't mean, the universe isn't mean, it's not like a little bully thrashing you around. It's wanting you to surrender to something that is more true than the pain that you're experiencing. There's this quote, no idea where it came from, but I love it. It's when life sometimes pushes us down to our knees in pain and suffering just because God wants us to say its name. And we're like, God, please, anything. Then God is like, ah, now I got you where I want you. Now we can work together. If your ego, if your sense of self is still in control and trying to figure shit out, you know, that's all fun and games. We figure some stuff out. But it's, it's usually not enough for us to make actual breakthroughs. It can be. It actually can be. But it's easier to, to have these breakthroughs on your own after you've suffered and after you've ha had experiences of, of surrender and um, quantum leaps in consciousness following those awakening experiences. Because now we understand so deeply the mechanism of pain and what it's for. It's telling us, uh, don't go there. You're believing something that is so out of alignment with truth, with love. Of course it's gonna hurt. And love doesn't want you to suffer forever. So it, it's just giving you some sensations of pain so that you can course correct. And if you don't listen, if you don't pay attention, if you holding on to being right, your ego, is more important than you being free, which is the same as to say you being low, knowing that you're love, experiencing that you are love experiencing truth then you just create more suffering for yourself and so surrender is when you're waving the white flag and you're like you know what all I want is the truth I don't care anymore take everything there is nothing in this world that I can manipulate that I can rearrange that I can blame on others on others because I've tried it, I've tried it so many times. And I'm stuck, I'm stuck in this place where it sucks. No matter what I do, I suffer. No matter what I do, something is missing. No matter what I do, true peace and happiness and love is eluding me. Of 
course it is because you're not looking in the right place. And so our suffering intensifies and increases. And it's just an alchemical fire that we're building up. There's nothing wrong with it. You didn't, you know, miss a memo or something about how to do this human thing. We're here to figure it out. And pain is a mechanism. It's a corrective mechanism. And there's kind of the way I've come to work with pain is there's two ways. One is, oh, paying attention and course correcting always as soon as we can. Or there's not paying attention and building more false beliefs on top of more other false beliefs. Ba build on a false structure of who and what you are. And you keep pushing through it that way. And then life will hand you mental illness. Life will hand you depression. Anxiety. Life will hand you a dark night of the soul. Not because you did something wrong. Not because you're being punished. Not because... It's not your fault. This is how life is supposed to work and it's helping you, it's working out for you. And waving the white flag is saying, I'm going to give up thinking that I want anything else besides inner peace. Giving up I, th that you think you want anything else besides God, besides love, besides truth, because you don't. And when you think you do, it hurts. And when you fight that hurt, that pain, that is suffering. 